Hey everybody, uh, just another update from me and my writings. Um, I've been entering the Creative Arts Festival at the VA here locally in Asheville um, since 2019, I think, and they couldn't do 2020. And I have had something place each time, um, not always the highest, of course, but at least it placed. I usually enter three items, writings or otherwise, and this time I only entered one. And, you know, just since my stepfather passed away last November, I just didn't feel a lot like writing. But one of the biggest reasons I found when it, my hesitancy of entering this particular piece this year, which a lot of ways connected with him as well, um, was because I didn't have him edit it. And not about the securities of my writing, as much or in particular whatever it's just more so that that was part of the process he was part of the process so i missed that process so i shared my writing with a few people before i decided to enter it and thank god i still place nonetheless um i entered in the non-rhyming inspirational I tied in third, but again, I didn't even think I would enter it, so I'm not unhappy about it, and it's okay. Um, it's going to be okay, you know. I, it was a pleasant surprise to even place. I miss Emery, my stepdad, the best stepdad ever, every day. But I thank God that I had him in my life. He was a true blessing. So I'm going to share the poem that I did, but in the midst of it, I'll share some pictures that really connect it. This is the my book that's about to be released, but this was the old physical copy, and it's just been updated a little bit. So I'll share some pictures of the mints because it really goes well with what I'm going to read to you. So the piece is called Little Joni. She never knew which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She never knows which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She now knows her dad is Father God. Little Joni was but a toddler when her dad left the family. She was thankfully too young to know the disasters that were surrounding her. Her mother did the right thing and took the kids from that world. She never knew which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She never knows which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She now knows her dad is Father God. Little Joni was in high school when her legal dad left them. She was in pageants and his girly tomboy at that time, and he had legally adopted her. Her mother did the right thing and did not, allow, did not allow the abuse to continue. Little Joni was hurt. <laughs> she never knew which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She never knows which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She now knows her dad is Father God. Little Joni was fresh out of her first college when her mother married her stepdad. She was recovering from multiple abuses and he rescued her from it all. <clears throat> her mother's third time was a charm, was Joni's as well, until her stepdad passed away last year. She never knew which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She never knows which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She now knows her dad is Father God. <clears throat> Little Joni was in a state of loss when she was spir spiraling out of control. She was heartbroken and consumed, and taking her own life seemed to be the solution. Her mother's strength kept Joni afloat, the love of Father God brought Joni to life again. She never knew which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. 
She never knows which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She now knows her dad is Father God. Little Joni was always perplexed when asked who her dad was. She was unsure of the best way to answer, at the same time not to tell too much. A preacher, a Sunday school teacher, and a deacon, bringing the best of each to carry her. She never knows, never knew, she now knows. She never knew which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She never knows which one to call, dad, legal dad, or stepdad. She now knows her dad is Father God. You'll see more about the book later. This picture was taken a few years ago, a handful of years ago, but it's special for the cover. Nonetheless, this is about the poetry and about the men in my life, how my fathers I started to call my book My Three Fathers. <laughs> After the TV show, you're old enough to know my three sons. Um, but Chameleon Moore explains who I am as a whole. Anyway, I've taken too much of your time. Just wanted you to know I love y'all. And I appreciate you all, the ones that really went over this with me and helped kind of assure me that it was sufficient to enter. I will talk to you all soon. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.